I'm going to show you how to do Final Cut credits and text from InDesign in this video. I'm going to show you how to do credits and text from InDesign into Final Cut so you can do easy changes, make some high volume credits, and get things much mo moving much, much faster in doing your credits. Hi, my name's Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and on a side note, a filmmaker and an InDesign user. Let's get started right now. I'm going to start in InDesign, I'm going to go right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new document. I have already got a credit roll here, but I'm going to make a new one for you. All right, do not save. And we will start off by going to File, New, Document. And in this document, we're going to make a 16 inch by nine inch format image. Exactly the HD resolution. If you need to make something else, go for it. But this is how you do this. Now you hit create and now you have a blank document with a single page and some master sheets. The magic of this is two part. You need to have the master pages under control and you need to make multiple pages and paragraph styles. Hang on and I'll show you. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose the text tool here and I'm going to draw, click, and draw a text box. Now the text will come up black, but we'll fix that in a moment. So producer, director, writer, and my name, Aaron Linsdow. Great, looks small, looks pretty ugly. What we're going to do is we're going to click in the first paragraph, and then we're going to go over to paragraph styles you will hit the new paragraph styles button, click that, and a new style, and this is just an InDesign thing, a new style will come up. Paragraph style one, double click on that, and you will get the paragraph style one, and we'll call this job title, okay? We will go into basic formats, and Minion Pro is not going to look very good, we're going to choose Gil Sans instead. Sans serif fonts tend to look much better on the screen. And I'm going to enlarge this to 30 points. So we have producer, director, writer, and 30 points and Gil Sans regular. Then you will hit OK. As you can see, my name is too small. You click into the next paragraph which is denoted by uh, you hitting return. And you don't need to select the text. All you need to do is be in the paragraph. Then go to new paragraph styles again. And I'll show you why this is important in a moment. And the new style again says paragraph style one. Double click on that. And the paragraph style one comes up. Type name. And now we've got the name of the style click basic character formats. Again, we're going to use Gil Sans. Just click and drag down, find whatever font you want. I prefer Gil Sans for this. I'm going to make my name, say, let's make it much larger, 60 point font because I'm just that kind of Hollywood guy. But I want to change the font style. And now I'm going to do this in light. You'll see why this is valuable in a moment to make changes. And then we hit OK. And now we've generated, hopefully, a single page with a single credit. The trick of this is what happens when you have 20 different credits that you need to roll for different things and you want to change the font. What we will do is we will go over to the Pages tab. Look on other reviews and YouTube videos how to open the pages tab and the paragraph styles and everything. I just want to get this done for you. And let's say we have 20 different titles we have to have there. So you click the new page icon and this will generate our 20 titles throughout our page. Now 
All you do is click on your first position and then you can either command copy or faster would be to hold the option key down and you'll see the mouse changes. Click and drag into the next position and then click and drag into the next position. Great, now that we've got a double facing page, I know this is crazy, but it will make sense soon. We will select both, and just like in Final Cut, you hold Option, click and drag, and we will continue to do this until we're done. Option, click and drag, option, click and drag. Hopefully this isn't too fast for you. I know if you can use Final Cut, you can handle this. And I'll show you the magic and value here very quickly. I've made up a bunch of titles that... Hmm, I made a bunch of movie titles and show titles just to give an example of how this works in Simply Text Edit. So the executive producer, I am also the executive producer on my show. I will scroll up, I will double click and enter that here. I will just simply command paste. And now in my title here where I am clicked and highlighted, I will click the name. Oops, my box is too small, great. And, and then you click into the other paragraph with the job title and you click the job title and now that fixes there. You go back to your producers. I do a lot of work on my show and you may have to expand this box. I should have made the box bigger in the first place. Double click on producers and click the job title and then click on to the names click name oops that's a pretty big title I think I better shrink down the names because these names are too big on the screen this is why we do this you click in the name double click on the name in the paragraph styles go to basic character formats and let's shrink this a lot and you'll see why we're doing this. Because now, as you've gone through, let's say you're using Final Cut and you've done all these changes, and all of a sudden you'll notice all of my names have shrunk appropriately. Very nice. I double click on the name paragraph style, click on basic formats, and depending on the case that you may have received in in design, you can force it to be all caps, so it looks very consistent. Great, now I've adjusted all of my titles and I haven't even gotten very far yet. Now I'm going to speed this up to get through this so you can see the result. Okay, you get the idea. I'm going to delete the rest so we don't have to keep grinding on that. Page 15 to 19. Boom, done, delete, objects, perfect. Now I have 15 different credits that I'm going to transfer into Final Cut. You cannot really do black text in video. It doesn't look very good. What we're now going to do is a little bit of a trick. If you have the Pages tab open, go over to the A Master and click once and then double click. And this brings up the page template. And you can zoom in with Command plus and minus. And what you need to do is generate a box, a black box so you can see your text. Click the Rectangle tool. And then this breaks all the InDesign rules, drag all the way across and click your rectangle will be blank. Go to the fill tool and then just choose black or whatever color. And now when you go into your titles, 
all of your text will be invisible. You'll see why this is important in a moment. Choose the selection tool, click into your text, and in job title, I know this is fast, trying to get through this, double click on job title or whatever it may be, go to character color, and now choose paper. And now the title of the job is in white. Click into the invisible name paragraph style, double click, go to character color, go to paper, and now let me zoom out with command minus. All of my job titles and names are in white. Now obviously we can't have this black ugly background when we do the import, so you will go back to the A master tool, double click, and instead of deleting the box, you will click on this, click on the box, go up to the fill, and then go to none, and now you will have nothing visible, all right? Now here's the magic. We're going to take our document and go to File, Export, and we're going to export these items as a PNG because PNG retains edges, don't use JPEG. And also PNG allows us to use transparent backgrounds to bring in our text. Let me go to my desktop, files InDesign, and we're gonna call this credit roll two. All right, and we will call this credits.png. InDesign will auto increment the file names for you. You'll hit save. And here is the trick. Export selection all. Do pages, not spreads. Crank the quality to maximum so the edges of the text look great. I use 600 PPI. I know it's overkill, but don't worry, it works. The trick to this whole process is use transparent background. Make sure transparent background is checked and the anti-alias is checked. Ignore the other two and hit export. And now InDesign will begin exporting these pages. It does take a minute because they are our ping files and we will let this happen. And we have credit roll two and we have a bunch of images with apparently nothing in them. This is where the magic happens, people. Go back into Final Cut and we'll see my titles here in my show that doesn't exist and my keyword set here. I'm going to delete all my old credit rolls. One moment. And I will delete my credits. Whoa. Delete my credits there. And now, go back to Finder, take the credit roll folder, drag that over the event date, and now you will have a keyword collection of credit roll two. We now have credit roll two. This gets better. Take the first credit, hit the E key, which does append to the storyline. Great. We're going to click this single credit. We're going to go to File New and Compound Clip. And we'll call this Credit Roll. Hit Enter. And now you have a compound clip, double click into the credit roll. Ignore your first credit item there and then hit E for append. And now you will see I have a huge list of credits. They're obviously too long. I can't have two and a half minutes. So hit the command A key to select all of your items, then command Control D to change the duration of each. And let's say I want each credit to show for 25 frames. I type 25 in the time code. I hit enter. Good. And now my time. Hit Shift Z to see all your credits. Great. 
go back to your main storyline and now my compound clip I will pull it up onto my story I will expand it so it goes all the way to the end and now I have a credit roll and you might say geez that's a lot of work second camera storage stills that's a crazy amount of work but now I can change the font because oh I don't like that font the job title needs to be bigger I can go back to InDesign go back into the job title I don't even need to see the job title just click into the job title here if you need to see it go into the master pages double click and select this box convert it to black so you can see what you're doing and let's say the boss says please change that font and job title I want the job title to be whatever um, minion pro and we're going to increase the job title quite a bit okay hit OK and now every title has changed automatically and you will go back into the A master sheets by double clicking click on the box change the fill to none great now we can export again after you double click into the main pages file export and we will overwrite our credits with the same settings replace all pages spreads transparent background hit export are you sure it already exists yes apply to all yes and now we will wait for the computer to generate the files InDesign is done we go over to Final Cut and now you will see that all of my jobs are set and now it's hard to see so what I will do is I will get a generator in generators or let's get a solid and we'll drop that down here we will move the titles over so you can see them and now automatically all of my title fonts have changed the job title has enlarged and everything is done just like that that made that so easy to make a huge amount of change to all of my titles now maybe there are some plugins and things I don't care about rolling movie titles I just want standard show titles and that's all it takes I know it's a lot but that's all it takes to make major changes if you need to add a person in the sequence you can certainly just look up how to add a page or insert a page into InDesign and that way you can go back and forth and generate new titles add people remove people change the font change the size change the position or whatever else you need to generate final cut titles and other text and graphics into InDesign I could have put a logo or anything in here I would have done that in Final Cut but the titling this is the magic in InDesign my name is Aaron Linsdow I'm a polar explorer and filmmaker and professional InDesign user please like and comment on the video hopefully you found this useful and if you really found it useful subscribe to my channel thank you very much and enjoy your filmmaking and your layout work